Running has become you know, addiction or something I have to do every single day. If I get up at 4 a.m. Uh, in the morning, uh, my buddy and I try to get 10 miles in before school. He's a champion. He's done a lot of marathons, and he didn't want to give up. Felt, you know, a pain in my left Achilles that I hadn't hadn't felt before, and the thought crossed my mind that I wouldn't be able to run. Uh, it was scary. He just couldn't put up with the pain and, and the running, so you know, he finally decided to get checked out. My goal as uh, his treating physician and with the assistance of being a runner myself was to identify the injury and get him back to the level of running he wanted to attain. I felt very comfortable with Dr. Goodbo. Uh, he's an avid runner and ran the Boston Marathon twice, so we talked a lot about that. And he had very, very classic symptoms of Achilles tendonitis. Our treatment included supervised well-balanced physical therapy program to regain some flexibility and strength in his calf muscles and his, uh, and his foot muscles. A hard part for us was to educate him on the importance of resting his injury, healing the injury, and changing his routine to modify his workouts. I had to cut back uh, primarily in November and December, which was difficult. Really, he's very stubborn. You know, runs is his life. It's just that's his way, it's a mentality. So we used a treatment called iontophoresis, which uses a corticosteroid, and it's designed to decrease the pain to the Achilles tendon in general, which will allow it to heal quicker. Adam is an elite runner. His goals are to run long and fast. You know, he didn't give up, wouldn't stop, and uh, work through it. You know, he has, he has that mentality, a champion mentality. Two weeks out from the Boston Marathon, I feel great, I feel like I'm ready to go, and feel like I'm where I should be, uh, and that the injury really hasn't slowed my training down at all.